Hi guys, welcome back to the show. My name is Ewase and this is Ninja Watch Vlog. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow us across other social media platforms. Let me try adjusting my light so you can see. You can see me. Nice talking to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, let me get down to the business of the day. Um, you know, we bring you the latest uh, gist, news, trends, and all that's happening in Nigeria and the world at large. So today I was scrolling through my Twitter and I saw something very disheartening. And it took me back to what happened some couple days ago with Baba Idisha, who was, who was said to have raped uh, an 11 year old, sorry, a 14 year old girl. He allegedly has been raping this girl since she was seven. And recently she opened up to someone and told the person about it. And they, were, they had hidden, hidden cameras that caught the, that caught him in the act we've been talking about insecurities going on in nigeria we've been talking about we've been blaming the government we've been blaming those who are in charge those who are supposed to protect us and all that but individually what are you doing to make the country a safer place for our kids even for yourself what are you yourself doing to because Baba Idisha, he is, um, how old is he? 48 years old. And this child is 14. That is to say, he's about 34 years old. <sighs> Older than this child. Earlier today, I, 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 before, I knew I was going to talk about this. So I, I spoke to a friend of mine. I told her the story so that I can express myself the way i want to which i can't really express myself here because i was so close to tears i was literally so close to tears because imagine it was your child imagine it was your daughter i don't know what to call this level of barbaric behavior it's beyond evil it is how do you think since this child was seven, you've been taking advantage of her. I have no idea where we're going to. Because tomorrow we're going to come up again. Yeah, the government is this, the government is that. But behind closed doors, you're not doing the right things. Behind closed doors, even nobody can see your deal worse things that the government you, you, you try to talk about, you try to sleep. Now that takes me back to another story that caught my attention today. Okay, first of all, going back to the um, Baba Idisha story. There are celebrities. I saw where a celebrity was trying to say, let's hear both sides of the story. <laughs> you want to hear the side of the story from the 14 year old child? You didn't want to hear the story from the side of his 14 year old and then what do you want to do about it i really don't understand how people think he might be your favorite celebrity he might be someone you look up to but when they mess up call them out on their bs call them out on their bs don't, don't start trying to take sides because this person is your godfather in the industry or this person is your whatever in the industry sometimes you have to Take the bull by the horn and call what is wrong. Wrong. I'm a fuck up. We about to fuck up. Oh fuck up. We need to fuck up. You need to fuck up. To be about to fuck up. To fuck up. Oh fuck up. Oh fuck up. Oh the man need to admit for fuck up. To be about to admit here. Go go away. The activist here. Go go see become. Because to be about sure. Oh you know what? Loy bo. To be about not to be a war. You mean? Oh because accomplice in here. And you don't have to support the rapist, you won't go accomplish him. You don't have to be sure. my blacklist on the Because what I'm going to do is Oh, Mamisha. He's going to be a good one. He's going to be a good one. 
mo ba digon ti ba wo kese ma wo ton ni emi o pa riwo mi rayi ariwo so da riwo so nje ki ma pa igomi like ma be no to bi owo yo mi emi kuro ninu awon to le ma fi ta yin mo kuro na awon to ma ma fi soro so ti gbo mi ma face e I see my bow lady broke down for you. I thought Jenny PC. Don't call up this comment. Anybody stop it? Now, earlier today, a child wrote out, a, an 11 year old child reviewed a list. And in this list, she wrote down uh, about six names. She said, These are the people who took advantage of her. Who molested her? Who abused her sexually? And you know, she she wrote the list beside their names. She writes out um, the actions, the things they've done to her. One of them, he said, in the morning, he told me to open my legs. This is an eleven-year-old. This is an eleven-year-old child. And she has already been traumatized. How? <sighs> at this point, we need to look at ourselves. We need to ask ourselves, what have we done to the society? What are the things we're doing to the society to help? What are the things? Look inside yourself before you come for the government. Look inside yourself. Waiting me like this. Abyssent. Me like this. Have I done anything to help the society? It's not about coming out to say politicians this, politicians that. Your neighbor how do you treat them? These pedophiles. This is the new trend now. Going after people's kids. Forgetting that you might have your own child in the future who you want to protect by all means. You have sisters, you have brothers. How would you feel if they come home one day to you and tell you somebody in somebody you pinched me? I have I have kid brothers and I'm very protective of them. I don't have sisters. I don't have younger sister. I don't have an other sister. And I know how overprotective I can be of my brothers. So imagine you coming to tell me my child is... Okay, you know what? I will let you guys just drop your comments. Let me see your reactions to these stories. And how we're supposed to move from here how do we move ahead from here what can we do to stop these things because obviously the police they might be trying their best but we on our own we on our own we should have a way to attribute a way to contribute rather to make a society better a better place for us a safer place for our kids Thank you so much. This is the. If I go on, trust me, I will keep talking and talking and talking because it's it's quite annoying. I'm if, I'm female, and I want to be in the place where I can go out at any time I want to go out and come back feeling safe. I don't want to be going out and looking behind my back and carrying um, tear gas or uh, spray, uh, pepper spray in my bag and being scared and being insecure wherever I am. I want to be safe. So when I'm, when I'm saying this, I'm talking out of fear as well because I know I'm not safe. My friends out there are not safe. Your sister out there, your brother out there isn't safe. The security, the, the insecurity in Nigeria right now is on its own a problem. And then we're coming here in our own very houses. Someone is coming to, I think I have to stop now because, oh, okay. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also follow us across other social media platforms. My name is Ewasi and thank you for staying with us. This is Nigerian Watch Blog.